Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to use groups to replace specific portions of input text with something else. So what I'm going to do is we're going to look for links by identifying href and source attributes. And we're going to take the links and we're going to replace them with, I don't know, the word null. Okay, so there's two ways that I know of doing this. And the first way involves creating groups. So we create a group for everything pretty much. You do um, a group for href and a group for the link and then a group for the end quotation. And this allows us to effectively reconstruct the string using sub expressions um, in the um, replacement string. And I'll, I'll show you what that is. So I'm not ne I don't know if it's necessary to actually create a group for the um, the link here when we're doing that, but we'll, I'll experiment with that. So some people use assertions, so they use the entire match and just use insertions for all the stuff that they don't want, um, because assertions are zero width character matching, and um, that works to some extent, but it's inelegant and probably inefficient. So let's begin. I'm going to create a pattern here. Okay, let's start off with something simple. Um, so let's do href and then equals and then our double quotations because it needs to be doubled up when we're using the at symbol to escape, you know, characters. So href and then character group any character except a quotation and I have to double that up at two my um, resharper is not allowing me to do that there it is so we got href is equal to quotations or one quotation then any character except for a quotation and then an ending quotation so this is our link here, and then everything else is something that we don't really need to concern ourselves with right now. Uh, we just want to replace the link with nothing. So, um, what you, we would do is we would wrap this portion in a group, and then the link portion in a group, and then the end quotation in a group. Now, now let's use regex replace and what we're going to do is we're going to do rich text box dot text for input and then specify our pattern and then finally we need to specify a replacement string and within a replacement string we have to specify um, a sub expression I think they're called and the sub expressions will allow us to insert groups or the values of these groups here into the replacement string so the first group right here that's going to be this so number sign one represents the first group and this we're not going to insert this group because we need to replace that with null or whatever word you want to including empty so if you want to do just empty then just leave it out of there but we are going to insert something null and then we're finally going to insert the value of the last group which is the quotation just by group 3 actually and that's how we are reconstructing the string for our replacement string so these evaluate to the entire uh, match, except for the link is replaced with null. So let's take a look at it. So you can see that it didn't work at all. So there's an href link. Um, I'm just going to look over it to see if everything's OK. Oh yeah, I have to do um, one or more here with the um, the character group. Now let's try it again. Okay, 
Now you can see that href has been modified so that the link is replaced with null. And href down here is also replaced with the null. Now here comes the tricky part. So let's add href or source to account for more links. So this automatically becomes uh, group two, I believe. I'm not so sure, but either way, you should mark it as a non-capturing group using question mark colon. So this is not going to be captured. It's just going to be ignored. And that's uh, what you need to do because we don't really need, this has nothing to do with how we're reconstructing the string. So let's go back. And now we see that href is still replaced properly. And now we have the source links that are replaced properly. So if we take that away, then it's all jinked up. I can't even find where they are. Oh, there, there's one. So I think that this would automatically be group four if we were to not make this a non-capturing capturing group. So href turns out well, and where's the source? And source looks nice. Okay, very nice. So let's take it back. So just make that a three there. Make this a non-capturing group. And let's do a little experiment to see if we really need to wrap this thing in a group, this character group. So we can take this down to a two here. Now that there's only two captured groups and see what see how it works so yeah there it is href and source they're all nulled out so this is how it goes if you don't need the information that you're replacing you don't need to wrap it in a group so this link here which is the character group here that we don't really need that for anything because we're just replacing it with the word null so it doesn't need to be in a group and we really just need the stuff around it to help us reconstruct the replacement string. So this evaluates to something completely different than what it looks like right now. And that's basically the gist of it. I hope you learned something. See ya.